Hey everybody, welcome back to NFI Hammer, where we dive into the great and wondrous universe of Warhammer 40,000 from a beginner's perspective. Today we're going to take a basic look at the universe while honing into one of the most unique factions in it, the Orcs. There is a new video game being released called Warhammer 40,000 Speed Freaks, and if you're curious about the Warhammer universe and this game and wanting to see if it's going to be the right fit for you, then this is the right video to watch. Let's dive in. The Warhammer 40,000 universe, in short, is Warhammer 40k is how people refer to it, is a grim dark science fiction setting created by Games Workshop, set in the 41st millennium. It tells the story of a dystopian future where humanity is eternally at war with each other as well as various alien races. It's a place wrecked by ruin with a thousand factions fighting for power. Major factions are the Imperium of Man, which is humanity basically, and they're being led by a long dead god emperor. There's also the ancient mysterious elder race, and there's brutal warlike orcs that just love to fight. There's the unrelenting necrons, which are ancient skeletal warriors, which is the faction that I collect. And then there's also the terrifying forces of chaos, corrupted by the dark gods. So one area that I didn't know much about, but I was eager to learn more about is the orcs. The orcs are green-skinned, brutish creatures who live and breathe for war, destruction, and annihilation. The orcs are born and bred warriors who revel in the anarchy of battle. Their entire society is built around the very literal idea of war, a collective psychic energy that grows stronger as more orcs gather to fight. The more the fight, the more furious they get. Orcs in general love the idea of speed, big loud vehicles. They can cobble together war machines from junk and scrap, devising machinery that ranges from the rickiest little buggies to massive battle wagons. And while the orcs' vehicles and weapons might look very crude, they are nothing but devastating in the hands of these crazy warriors. So this brings us to the video game Warhammer 40,000 Speed Freaks. This is the game that really tries to capture the utter orkiness. You can, may control many different orc vehicles and engage in high speed races or battles. Literally that's all you do in this game. Go fast, shoot big guns, and cause as much mayhem as you possibly can. The players gather their mobs of wagons, leading their team to victory on different maps. From fast paced cars, to sturdy tanks, to support wagons, there is a vehicle for every player to enjoy. The game is fully dependent on cunning strategies and brute forces in all forms to outmaneuver, outsmart, and obliterate the enemies. So my first impressions as a beginner in the Warhammer universe and as an avid video gamer is that it's a pretty fun game. If you've played Rocket League and Doom, it is like those two games have had a baby. You know, you're driving around in a little buggy, but you're shooting out, you know, bullets and guns and blowing everything up. And there's lots of uh, chaos going on. Each game mode I imagine will be quite different, but the one that we can play during the, the alpha is this kill convoy. And basically both teams um, of even size all have a stomper, which is like a giant massive orc mech that, that's walking around very slowly. And it's a race between the teams to see which stomper gets to the finish line faster. You speed up your stomper by killing enemy um, 
vehicles or enemy orcs and you can also sabotage the enemy stomper by blowing up bombs on them and that's pretty much it it's pretty straightforward there's seven different cars that i've unlocked um you know there's the custom booster blaster the boom ducker snaz wagon the rucker truck squig buddy which is like a healing one uh there's a looted wagon that lets you kind of guide a missile shock jump dragster and a grot mega tank there's also another like tricycle one that i didn't uh, manage to unlock in the alpha and you know it is a very fun game i think it would be really good on like a switch or a steam deck to play while you're on a bus or something um but for me and again i'm not very good at video games so i don't know you know don't take my word for it but it just felt like something was off with the the timing like the pacing so for example like i was just following some enemy buggy and i'm you know shooting all my bullets and grenades and bombs and everything into it and the health is barely going down you know that could be because i'm based in australia hence my accent and you know the ping is pretty bad and also it could just be a skill issue in that you know i can't aim very well and you know so it did feel really weird um but then conversely like i would die very quickly so that kind of, I guess, means that it's probably a skill issue. But I think that pacing extends to just more than time to kill. So for example, um, one of the um, vehicles, I think it's the looted wagon, you can shoot this, you know, um, guided grot missile. And while it's really cool and awesome, it doesn't really make any sense um, to do that because it takes you out of the action. And maybe if the payoff was really good, like a junk rat in Overwatch's ultimate, you know, where you can wipe out multiple people in the one go, it could be worth it. But a few times I managed to hit it, it just really didn't seem to like fit with the rest of the game. And when you do die, which in my case is very often, it doesn't show you like a kill cam of how you died, but it doesn't even just show you like what happened where you died. It takes you completely out of the action and shows you this kind of victory dance of the enemy that killed you. And I guess it's a way that they can show off cosmetics and stuff like that. Um, and then you have to hit like multiple menus to get back into the action. So yeah, I find that yeah, dying is a very jarring experience in this game. I think just leaving the camera exploded a buggy would probably be better. For example, I had gotten really close to sending a bomb off and then I died and I didn't know if my bomb had gone off or not. Um, but luckily I was recording the video so I could go back and watch, but uh, yeah, um, that's really odd to me. One really awesome point I will say is like the customization. So, um, you know, you can unlock cosmetics such as like different, you know, wheels and rims and tires and decals and everything. And then what I was really impressed by is that you can actually go and pick exactly what colors you want on each of the attributes of the car. So, you know, if you want it all to be purple to be sneaky or you want it to be red to go fast, you know, you really have that. And as I've gotten into this hobby through miniature painting, you know, I thought it was really cool that they let you have that level of customization. Um, one minor gripe is the colors are just like gold or green too but because I use a lot of citadel paints it kind of seems like a good opportunity to call things like moot green and you know rune lord brass rather than just the boring normal colors but I guess maybe that would confuse people but yeah I just thought that that would be a cool way to make it even more warhammery and looking at the monetization aspects, it looks like they're just doing the very standard thing nowadays of having a battle pass, which they call a war path, which I thought was clever. And you know, there's daily missions that you can do, as well as like specific missions for each vehicles. So they, you know, look like they've set it up for long-term kind of longevity in the game. Um, so yeah, I think if they can just balance the 
the uh, feeling of killing to make it feel like, I don't know, more satisfying, I guess. And like, it's less random and chaotic because for me, I just kind of die instantly and the enemies never die. So it is a little bit unfun um, in that regard, but I hope that just with a little bit of balancing or maybe, you know, having servers with less ping might be better. But when I say the ping, like there's no juddering or lagging or rubber banding or anything. I'm just throwing that out there as maybe a possibility why, you know, no damage is being registered. Anyway, this is a little bit different from my normal videos. Normally I just do painting videos or um, other kind of Warhammer stuff. So if this is something that you're interested in, um, consider leaving a like or a subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And if you've got any comments or questions, um, please leave them down below. So if this sounds like something that might interest you um, at the moment, as of recording this, you can actually play it right now for free through Steam. So all you need to do is visit the Steam website, download and search for Speed Freaks, spelt with double E, and then there'll be a button that says, you know, join the alpha or join the beta, and you can click that and it's downloadable, free to play. It was around 16 gigs to download. So it is, as I said, in the alpha playtesting stage. So that just means that they're kind of collecting information and seeing, you know, how people experience the content firsthand. And you can even provide feedback and hopefully the developers will listen and incorporate that into future builds. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.